Alright, this is my first attempt at ever doing something like this, but we'll see how it goes. It was suggested by a, a uh, friend of mine. Uh, this is what I've been picking up the last couple of days. It's been uh, two or three days of uh, going to the car boots and stuff. And uh, these are some of the deals and things I've been picking up and stuff to work on. I've got some uh, good stuff here. There's uh, an APC Smart UPS 1400 which is boxed in white. Uh, not sure whether it works or what, but it's quite cheap and it will do very nicely since it's about 980 watts or something like that. Looks uh, well, in good condition anyway. So, come to that place there. Weighs a bloody ton. I also got a 1500 with it, which is here, but uh, the front panel connector has been pulled off so that it's not wired up there's no batteries in that because it weighs a lot less but it looks really clean it's like a brand new condition almost <sighs> move this out of the way a bit also got some computer towers there's uh, two Dell Dimension 9200 ones this one here it's very low light but this is missing a DVD drive there but has one in there that has two DVD drives in I got these on different days I got this and one of the slim towers that's on top together that one and that one, and then that one and that one. Uh, they're both in fairly good condition. There's some marks and scratches on them. There's also these two slimline Dell towers. It's a uh, Optiplex 360 in a dimension C521. This is a AMD base. This is Intel dual core apparently. Core 2 duo on the front. Uh, they've all got the DVD drives and stuff in them. Uh, this is complete when I've looked in it really quickly. Uh, this was also complete. This is missing uh, hard drives, I think. I think it's missing hard drives anyway, and it's not got much memory or anything in it. And some of the wiring's been undone in some of them, I noticed on the bottom. I've not had a full inspection on them yet. Uh, this one, I believe, has got two hard drives in it and some memory. But I'm not sure what sizes they are. It's something to find out. I've also got in this carrier bag some sound cards. They're in a box of components. Uh, I got them 50 cents each, actually, and uh, they look in good condition. They're uh, M Audio Audio File 24 slash 96. They've got a uh, 4 no RCA in and outputs left and right, and then a uh, multi-pin thing that would have a breakout cable for the MIDI and uh, SPDIF and whatever else. But I believe they're quite expensive cards. I have some of the Delta 1010 LTs, which are uh, 10 in 10 out, and uh, I just got these because they were cheap really. I also picked up a pair of, uh, from the same guy, uh, Sound Blaster or Digi uh, cards, which have the pin out on the back for the front panel uh, live drive thing. Uh, they're quite dusty, but it just shows signs of use. He said they came out of working systems. Uh, I've also got a bag here with some motherboards in off a different person. Um, there's a Asus something or other, it looks a fairly good board, it's only socket 775 boards. But I've got lots of socket 775 stuff, so. Uh, it's a P5N-E SLI. Uh, it's got slots for SLI, a switchable card thing. Four memory slots, so I looked up the manual really quickly before I bought it and it says it's 68 gigs of RAM and quad core CPUs so it should hopefully be good to do some overclocking so I've got some Q6600s knocking about I uh, don't know if it works though, the guy said it came out of a working system I've got no backplate or accessories with it obviously and uh, that was only £2 uh, there's another board in there as well which I didn't really want but he's just selling them together so I think this is a Acer it doesn't really say on it, it's got a sticker on the sound outputs that says Acer uh, 2807 I think. I guess that's where it, or when it was made. Kind of won't focus on it. But uh, yeah, it's just a sort of basic desktop board, socket 775 again. The sockets look okay on both of them, I've not noticed any bent pins or anything when I uh, was looking. So hopefully they should work and uh, can build some systems off them. I've noticed the battery's been taken out of this one though, I'm not sure why that is. When people start stripping stuff off motherboards it makes me a bit suspicious of them. 
but that's that. I'll put that over here for later. What I've also got is a box full of all kinds of memory. Uh, he said they're all 512s, I've not checked them and obviously the amount of the memory that's in this box. There's a DDR2 there, 512s of 4200 I think that says, yeah 4200 CL4 533 MHz. There's uh, lots of DDR1 which was the main reason I got it. Because I'm always looking for bigger sticks to upgrade computers and that because there's a few people I know with older computers. With, like four slots and we can put four 512s in them now and get them 2 gigs. Because they're quite nice systems. There's also some uh, laptop bits like Wi-Fi cards and uh, a few other bits and pieces down there. I've not really been through it to sort it. He was selling them for 50 pence each in the box and I was like, um, well, what did you take for the lot? And he was like, um, call it a tenner. So I went, alright then. There's another uh, Wi-Fi card, but a, a small one. So yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to start with these. Um, I'll probably start later with the memory and sound cards. They can go in here. I think first I'm going to have a quick look inside the towers and give them a test to see if they come on. I'll put the UPSs to one side. And uh, I'm going to try and do this in mostly one take. I'll just pause the video. Okay, well I've managed to uh, set up a monitor and a little station for testing them. Uh, I've got a keyboard, I've got my extension plugged into there, which is going to the safety socket here, which actually on inspection I should probably turn on. It has a uh, safety cutout on it, which I was used for testing my stuff, which I've got that I'm not sure about. Uh, I think we'll start with the small ones, I guess. Let's try this one first. Uh, this one I believe is complete. Uh, we've got a license for Vista Business on the top. And stickers and things. I did my actually put a scratch on this, which I am uh, was a bit peed off at when I did it, but it's nothing too major, I guess. It's only cosmetic. We've got a DVD writer, a cartoon duo sticker. Uh, it looks quite a decent computer, anyway. Just pop the side panel off. Had to do this with one hand. There we go. One second. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, right inside it now, it looks fairly clean. It doesn't really look like it's been used all that much. There's not really any dust in it, which is uh, different, I guess. Uh, the DVD drive's unplugged for some reason. There's two ports for that. I imagine it'll go to the white one. And they'll usually always plug them into there. There's some memory in it. Of, uh, I think that's 512 megs. Uh, 512... Uh, PC5300, PC250300. Let's, uh, let's, we gotta lift this to get the DVD drive out. Yep. There's a hard drive. 500 gigabytes, wow. Uh, see you get. That's plugged in. I uh, can't see any bad capacitors or anything on the motherboard, so that's a good sign. All in all, it doesn't really look like it's had much use at all. I think we'll put it back together. And see if it'll come on. It's very hard to do this with one hand. But a tripod is so much more awkward. There we go. I will uh, tuck this cable around here, then it's off of the way of the airflow and everything. Uh, I should plug that in that way. I don't think that's the original SATA cable ever. I think they're normally a different colour. Dells. Uh, we need the VGA cable. I plugged them both in because uh, some of the workstations have got what looks like quadro cards in them or something. They've got two DVI outputs. I imagine they're quadros anyway. Uh, plug in the power. Got a light on the motherboard, that's a good sign. Let's turn straight on. Oh. And I'm going to think that that's memory. You've got like 1 and 3 on on the front. Turn it off. Try removing uh, one of the sticks of memory. Try now. Oh. It's 
Vamos embarcar? Hmm. Oh, we're on by us. Oh, we're into the BIOS. I think I need to shut that curtain a bit, then we can see properly. We'll try. Uh, we have... A Core 2 Joe CPU. Oh, it's an E7400, 2.8 gigahertz. Well, that is not bad at all. Uh, the memory's a 512, I believe. Yeah, 512. Uh, nothing in the PCI slots. Time and date seems about correct. Drives uh, detecting the hard drive, 500 gigs. This is the DVD writer? Um, just check everything's enabled as it should be. Sometimes people turn off the multiple CPU core option, and I really don't see why. No passwords. That's good. AC recovery is off. I think we're good here. Exit the BIOS. Force network boot attempt fail. Check the other one sitting there. Okay. So we may have a bad stick of memory. I'm going to put this back in and see if it boots. says on the back in big letters on there, closer inspection. <laughs> 512 megabyte DDR2. Ah, oh, but the DVD drive's in the way. One second. DVD drive removed, it's a lot easier to work on it. Let's try again. No, it not like that. I think we may have a bad stick of memory. I'm going to try putting the second stick in the first slot and taking the other one out. The uh, second stick in the first slot. Oh. Send itself off. Oh no, we're booting. Maybe we have a dodgy memory slot then. I'm going to try some different RAM. Let's put two 1 gig sticks and see what happens. Uh. I'm going to have some over here. I'm not sure what's in this pile. I think they're mostly 512s here. Let's see where I've got some in. There's motherboard over here. Ah, oh, that I can borrow somewhere. Down over here. <laughs> this random MSI motherboard I did put a couple of weeks ago. This has got four one gig sticks in that I put in for testing it. Unfortunately, it only takes four gigabytes, so I can't put any more than that in. It's two gigs of RAM. What speeds are these? Uh, PC2 5300 matched pair. Camera will not focus on them. Come on, phone. Oh, oh, oh we almost had it. There we go. Do one gigabyte sticks. Let's just remove this 512. Because the system wants upgrading. Who in the world could use one gig of RAM in this day and age? <laughs> I imagine this system will probably take 4 or 8 gigs, but it's only got 2 slots unfortunately, so it's going to be uh, harder to upgrade it. It all sounds calm and what? Oh! Booting. To the BIOS. We're in the BIOS again. Uh, memory information. Oh. 2 gigabytes, so we've, we're working now. Okay. That's strange. I'm gonna have to try them sticks in a different system. Let's uh exit out of this. 
I'm not loading the hard drive because uh, I never do. I just wipe them straight away. Because that could have other people's information on and you don't want to be messing with that. Let's put these sticks over here with the rest. I think I'm going to put this back together for now and then uh, we'll try and boot it into some sort of Windows installation later on and we'll try the next one. Okay, so I've got the uh, other slimline tower here. It uh, could do with a bit of a wipe down and cleaning. It's not in the best of uh, conditions. Looks like it's had some on the co coffee spill over the front of it a bit. Uh, it has a graphics card in it of some kind. Not too sure what that might be, but I guess we'll find out. Throw this up part of the way down there. Uh, two sticks of memory, a, some form of a graphics card, that has a little heat warning sticker on it. Uh, I don't believe it actually says what it is. It was made in China, but that's not really much help. What memory have we got in here? We have, can't quite get the camera down there I don't think. We have two 512s of PC2 4200. Got under the DVD drive again, same sort of mechanism. This one's actually plugged in as well. Wow. Uh, we've got a card reader. Okay. So unclip this. Just unplugged it, but oh well. Let's get it out of the way and see what the hard drive is. We have a Seagate 160 gigabytes, 7200 RPM, which uh, I'll probably upgrade, but that also depends on what process is in this thing because it's. Some form of AMD based. Probably dual core of some kind. Just gonna drop this back in. Uh, plug it in again. There we go. Drop this in. Actually, I'll leave that out. The system actually has four memory slots in it as well. And I believe that's one and two, so I don't know why the memory's in three and four. Yeah, it's actually brought on the board down here. One, two, three, four. You should always install from one onwards in pairs the dual channel operation. But here we go. Let's plug the power in. I think we'll try this one. Uh, get it into the BIOS, check it out, and then call this video that. Because it's getting quite long now. I'll make other videos on the, on the other systems. This DVD drive does not want to sit back in. There we go. Let's sit that back in. Uh, we'll need the DVI this time. There we go. Uh, USB for the keyboard. Looking into the BIOS. And a power cable. There we go. Um, well, we've got power. One long beat. 3-4 on the LEDs on the front. I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably memory again. Oh, the power button feels a bit... not very clicky. Let's just take the front panel off and have a look at that. It didn't seem to click. It did a click then, but... Yeah. I'm going to try switching the memory to the other two slots. Right, it turns out the power button does click, but you have to press it at the bottom. If I press it here, it clicks. It's actually making contact. Ah. On a uh, closer inspection of this memory, it's a bit yucky. I don't know what's going on there. Looks like something may have been spilled into it and on the memory. I don't see it on the motherboard though. So hopefully the board's somehow survived and this is just a bad memory stick or something. That one seems okay. It doesn't look like we've got it on that. It's just on this one around this sort of area. I could have maybe corroded something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to try getting different memory. Probably put another two 1GB sticks in out of that board. So handy when you have lots of systems about to uh, pull parts from to try. Here 
the one gigabyte sticks again. Another matched pair. We'll install them in slots one and two where they should have been in the first place. Or maybe there was. Maybe they uh, had more RAM in it in the first place and removed it. Okay, um, let's try that. Oh, boot screen. Into the BIOS, can we? Yep, we're in the BIOS. We have a Athlon 64 3200+. Plus. I don't know if that's a single or a dual core. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not really sure on AMD stuff and how they... Uh, there's two gigabytes of RAM. Dual channel. Time and date set. Are about right anyway. Uh, boot sequence SATA drive. 160 gigs. Everything seems to be enabled fine. Okay then, so that's good. Let's uh, exit out of there. Turn the system off. I'll say that's working. I'll probably remove that graphics card. I'm not sure entirely what it is. I'll have to get it out, look at the numbers on the back of it. We'll pull that out and have a look on Google. Okay, I've got the card out of the system. It's uh, some sort of OEM Dell one, obviously, because it's just got Dell part numbers. But imagine if I Google that now, I'll be able to find out what it is. I'm get a better look. It looks like it has a fan connector there. It's quite dusty as well. Shows a lot more signs of use than the other desktop had. Just a DVI connector. I'm going to have a look now on uh, Google. See what it says. Good old Google, uh, I'll just put the part number in off here, which is that one. And uh, it's come straight up here with an eBay listing, an Amazon listing, for uh, ATI Radeon X 1300, 128 megabyte. So there's nothing mind-blowing, uh, insane speeds or anything. Just your basic average desktop graphics card. I suppose it's alright if you need a DVI port output. I'll probably leave that out anyway, since this system's got onboard VGA. Probably some sort of a, the Intel chipset thing. So I think I'll take that out. I need to find a blank for this hole though. I'm keeping that out. Which I'm sure I've got somewhere. All in all, those both seem to work. This video is already apparently uh, 20 minutes long or so. So I think what I'm going to do is leave these other two workstations. The uh, UPSs, the motherboards and the other parts. Until uh, another video. I'll make a follow up for this. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first time I've ever tried doing something like this. I may do it in future because I pick up quite a lot of stuff like this. Uh, I do work on them. It's a bit of a hobby of mine. So, quite a mix of uh, things and I'll get some good deals, do stuff up, fix them. I've started a bit of a WordPress blog as well. So, uh, I'm going to start planning on writing stuff up. Uh, repairs and things, guides on how to do stuff. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like, feel free to leave me a comment with uh, any feedback. Hopefully in future I'll be able to make them a bit more uh, entertaining I guess, I don't know. I don't know if you found this entertaining, if this is your kind of thing I suppose. It depends on the person and your preference really. But that's all for this and uh, I'll hopefully see you in another one of my videos soon. Thanks.